Greetings, Love Posse. Thank you for supporting my channel, for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Today's message, we're born, we live, we die. Not exactly. These notions of life being a beginning, a middle, and an end that we learn in storybooks, that we're taught in school, that every great story has a beginning, a middle, and an end. And we've adopted these same notions about life being a beginning, middle, and end. We're born, we live, we die. I say not exactly, because if you are paying attention to your life, if you are aware of the different stages that you've experienced, you would have noticed by now that life is a series of transitions. Life is a series of death and rebirth, puberty, adulthood, leaving home, going off to college, or just leaving home, getting married, getting divorced, getting a job, being fired from a job, moving to another place. Series of death and rebirth. See, in order for us to grow, we have to go through these initiations of death and rebirth from puberty to our teenage years to our, you know, raging 20s, 30s, 40s to what I considered midlife or crone. <laughs> These are deaths and rebirths. There's no straight line. There's no beginning, middle, and end. Just different stages of death and rebirth. A letting go so that something new can be born. It's exactly what we're going through as a collective, as a world. I always speak of evolving, that we human beings, the human species is evolving. The earth is evolving as well. We're all going through all of life. All living organisms are going through death and rebirth. We're at the death stage now, if you haven't figured that out. This is what we go through. You probably don't notice it because many people consider death a taboo, but it happens every day in our lives. Incremental, small, a series of death and rebirth, death and rebirth. And for some people it may be scary and abrupt but we get through it. You've been getting through it and been reborn. You've been letting go of the old peanuts for the new peanuts, right? The end of relationships is a death. And then you may find a new partner, rebirth, or you may find yourself within yourself. You've always been there. The person that you choose to become, the old person must die. You have your mind set on a goal. Well, to get there, something must die. In order for me to become and be in alignment with being a spiritual teacher, Tiffany, the lawyer, had to die. 
these notions and judgments and beliefs about ourselves that we have in our mind, that we can only be and do one thing. They have to die in order for us to create something new, to be in alignment with our path. Death and rebirth to become whom you wish to become. The old you must die to accomplish the goals that you wish to accomplish and to receive all that is meant for you. Parts of you must die, death and rebirth. Two sides of the same coin, not the end, not a beginning middle and end to our story. <laughs> Constant, consistent death and reaper. So, not exactly. We're not just born, live, and die. We are Every moment, it seems like experiencing death and rebirth. <laughs> and no one's exempt from it. Just pay attention to your life. Pay attention to how much you've grown, how much you've released to get where you are. Death and rebirth. I want to thank you for your time, Love Posse. I love you. The divine loves you. You are loved. You are loved. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs>